In the area from the Tropic of Cancer to the Tropic of Capricorn, the weather is hot and holds some of the planet's most extreme deserts like the Sahara. But did you know that this region can shift in both directions? And that's what researchers studying tree rings at the University of Arizona believe. That's exactly what's happening. We see a trend in, atmospherically speaking, the tropical region moving further north in the northern hemisphere. Um, and so we wanted to, with our research, we, we wanted to put that in a historical context to see, you know, what has, has that happened before. Valerie Chere and her team analyzed trees to find answers to why this is happening. We used tree ring data from five regions across the northern hemisphere. We combined them all and combined they reflect how the edge of the tropics has moved over the last 800 years. The trees are sensitive to how much rain falls in that region. So if it's a wet year, they, they grow wide rings. If it's a dry year, they grow narrow rings. The tropics are driven by Hadley cells. These are big atmospheric circulations where air rises at the equator and sinks around 30 degrees north and south latitude. The result of this sinking air can be the formation of desert regions. And so as the Hadley cell moves further north, it brings drought further north. And so the Hadley cell normally on average is at about 30 degrees. So if it creeps northward, it means it's going to bring even more drought to, to the Tucson region. Ture says understanding how the tropics acted before human caused climate change can help climatologists better predict the behavior of the tropics in the future. The researchers also told me the current expansion of the tropics is likely due to an increase in greenhouse gases and that these expansions are also likely a factor in the current drought. In the Broadcast Center, Jordan Evans, Cronkite News.